Hey, what's happening guys? Today, we are going to talk about one of the most classic circuits, the most basic circuits, and that is the voltage or potential divider. As you can see here on our breadboard, we have two resistors. They are both the same value, um, 1K. They're hooked up across the breadboard. And I've taken a jumper here, this orange jumper, brought it out at the junction of these two resistors. Now, over here, hang on a second. Now, ah, you can't see that. One moment. I'm going to take you over. Uh oh. Pardon me. There's the power supply set for 10 volts. Okay. Just so you know where we're at. You know what all the players in the game are. We have 10 volts is our VN. We have two matching resistors. So when I energize the circuit, we should see about 5 volts here. There we have it. About 5 volts. So what do we know from this? Well, we know in this case that these two particular matching resistors, I mean, they're probably not exactly matching. Let's find out. So we'll measure the resistance. I can get my fingers to work. Okay, so the bottom 1K resistor reads 0.974. And we'll put that back in the circuit. And the top resistor reads 0.974. Well, they're matched, and they're very close to being exactly 1k but they're not so what we have learned in this case these two matching resistors produce half the voltage at the junction is that the case for any two resistors well let's see don't worry we're going to get into the theory and formula of this right now i'm just doing a demonstration of it here are some random resistors let's measure them So these are 220 ohm resistors. Let's grab two of them and recreate the same circuit. So from our VN down, And from our ground up, go back to voltage, hook up our ground. Put this up here where we get our reading. Power up the circuit. Four point seven. Four point six. It's gonna fluctuate a little bit. But again. It's relatively the same thing. Yeah, we're a half a volt off with these ones. They're probably not as close. But, you know, you get the idea. So now let's talk a little bit about the theory and mathematical formula behind this phenomenon. So let's start with the official definition of a voltage divider or a potential divider. We'll call it a potential divider. A potential divider reference to ground is created by connecting two electrical impedances in series. The, impulse, the input voltage is applied across the series impedance and the output is the voltage across uh, device two minus device one. And it may be composed of any combination of elements such as resistors, inductors, 
and or capacitors. I bet you didn't know that. Because you don't see it very often. But anyway, so our formula, V out, is equal to impedance number two over impedance one plus impedance two times our voltage in. Now, I'm sure you're not used to seeing the formula written like that with the impedances, and um, it's something more along the lines of you're used to seeing. V out is equal to R2 over R1 plus R2 times V in. That's if we're dealing strictly with resistors. If we have a mixed bag, then we use the impedances. Now, in our case, we can simplify that formula even further. If we have two matching resistors, we can then say that V out equals one half times V in. What if they're not equal? Well, then we need to use this formula. V out equals R2 over R1 plus R2. Well, then you say, what if there are more values? Well, then we just add them up. R1, R2, R3, R4, basically. So let's go back to our example and take a look at that. Okay, here we are back at our original examples with the 100K resistors. Energize the circuit. And for some reason, this time, we get exactly 5 volts. All right, let's shut the circuit off. And we'll disconnect here. And what we're going to do is we're going to modify our circuit slightly. We'll remove... This ground link here, we're going to put in another 1K resistor here. And then we will put that to ground here. And we will add Another way to measure that. One second, please. Okay, just to keep the math easy, because we're dealing with three resistors, I've put this down to 9 volts for our input voltage. Okay, everything is attached. We have three resistors in series going from V in to ground. And at the junction of the two resistors, we've broken out a point where we can measure voltage. So according to our formula, we should see two-thirds voltage here, one-third voltage here. So we should see about six volts right here, 5.99, and we should see about three volts here. Easy. And that can be done with many, many more resistors each time breaking them down. So now let's look at an example that uses different value resistors. Okay, our voltage is back to 10 volts to keep the math easy. This is 1K. This is 100K. Keeping in mind our formula here, R2 divided by R1 plus R2 times V in, what do you think we should get? It's going to be very small. We're looking at millivolts there. All right, let's swap it around. So we'll take the big one, the 100K, and we'll put it up here on top. 
and then the 1k goes down here again our voltage is still at 10 volts and what are we going to get this time about 100 millivolts. So there's one more important point I want you to get out of this. We're gonna leave this at 10 volts. I'm gonna take the 1K out. And I'm going to put in another 100K. And I just want you to see this. Okay, so there's 200 Ks in series. We get five volts, about half what we expect. Now we'll do the same with the two 1 Ks. We should see about the same, which we do slightly, slightly more. But the point I wanted to make is the value of the resistors is not important to the formula. As long as they are matching, we're going to get that one half. Now, as I told you in the beginning, these can be made of any combination of resistors, capacitors, and inductors. However, if you're going to deal with inductors and especially with capacitors not going to work in a strictly DC circuit because the capacitor you know blocks DC on its own so keep that in mind those generally only used in RC circuits so a uh, final question of course is are they current dependent upon the load yes um, if the load changes a lot then you're going to change the voltage slightly um, it's going to be a fraction of the change of the load so you're not going to see a lot but you are going to see some change so keep that in mind in your circuits and if you have any questions about voltage dividers feel free to leave them down below I'd be more than happy to help you out I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons and a big thanks to you for watching that's it I'm out peace